Welcome back on a gorgeous Friday afternoon. Temperatures are mild. The sunshine is out. It is a little bit breezy, so the little caveat to our Friday 64 degrees right now here in Fargo, 60 in Grand Forks in Jamestown. We're at 60 out in Bismarck, 55 Devils Lake, 59 Fergus Falls, Oaks and Sisseton. Just a pinch cooler, but still quite comfortable in northern Minnesota. 53 Bemidji, 54 in Roseau. Looking outside, satellite and radar showing just a few thin high level clouds moving in across the valley. A bit more cloud cover will be working its way in from the west to the east late tonight and into the early morning hours of Saturday. But let's talk about the wind gusting to 20 miles per hour in Thief River Falls. So just a little breezy in some of our northern Minnesota communities, but the stronger winds are out to the west gusting to 41 miles an hour in Mobridge, South Dakota. That wind is going to stick with us for tonight. We'll see increasing cloud cover. Temperatures still quite mild and still breezy through the overnight hours as well. Now watch these greenish yellow shaded arrows. That's gusts over 30 miles per hour, upwards of 40 miles per hour, and we'll see more of those strong winds moving into the valley by tomorrow morning. Not as windy in northern Minnesota, but quite blustery to kickstart our Saturday. Temperatures on the warmer side, generally in the 30s, a few upper 20s. Uh, in a couple of our far eastern communities, Minnesota, uh, thinner cloud cover and again a little less wind. Decreasing clouds then for the afternoon, partly cloudy to mostly sunny. The strongest winds arrive in the afternoon, gusting 40 to 45 miles per hour, along with sunny skies and dry conditions, low humidity. We are looking at that fire weather risk as well, and the wind still with us on Sunday. So we have a fire weather warning until seven o'clock tonight for these red shaded counties. This is due to the low humidity values and strong wind gusts. The rest of the valley is under a fire weather watch for tomorrow the afternoon into the evening of our Saturday, but for the same conditions, dry conditions, low humidity, strong winds, warm temperatures. Here's the latest outlook of that fire weather conditions risk much of the valley, if not all going to see at least some type of fire weather risk, but especially in these darker oranges. A couple of things that you can do avoid outdoor burning. Take caution with equipment that is prone to sparking. Avoid parking in the grass. Uh, check for dragging chains on trailers and properly dispose of smoking materials. Temperatures tomorrow, 50s and 60s. Temperatures Sunday, much cooler. We're talking 40s and 50s with a chance for some rain. Possibly a couple of flakes mixing in at times, but I think most of this is going to be rain through Sunday and scattered showers into Monday as well. That's going to obscure our view of the solar eclipse, at least hoping to get a peek. Here's a quick look at that moisture potential Sunday into Monday. We need it. And then temperatures warming up 60s to near 70. I uh, will near 70, not there quite yet, but near we will take it. So close. So close, but so <laughs> far. Well, Summer, well, I just want to tell you what a difference that one year makes. Take a look at this video. This is from the North Dakota Highway Patrol. Last April 5th, this Ooh. was the westbound lane on I-94, just east of Jamestown. I'm so glad that we have not have had to deal with that much snow, even just throughout this entire year. No. Neither do I. I really don't, but all that they were doing there, the North Dakota, the Department of Transportation crews, they were doing their best to make a path through several large snow drifts in that area. Oof. What a difference again yeah. a year makes. I mean, we need the moisture that snow often brings, but huh, I don't miss that. Yeah, no, we, <laughs> we don't need that that we're seeing right there. Summer, thank you so much.